Hi, good evening everyone. Welcome to Quantifiers. And this is yet another session of LDI with Quantifiers. So, uh, this is the set we are going to discuss today. If you haven't attempted this set, I request you to right now pause the video, try the set and then come again and see the solution. Okay. I hope you have tried the set. Now, this is the window I, where I will be using uh, solving the set. First of all, I am given that four companies are there. ABC, XYZ, PQ1 and FCH. Let's call them A, F, B and X. They manufacture a certain number of aircrafts. It is known that by the end of the year, 1999, the four companies had manufactured a total of 18 aircrafts. And by the end of 2001, the four of them had a total of exactly 35. These are cumulative, which means total up to 2001 and not only in 2001. And then the following information is known about the manufacturer of manufacturers of the companies, air the aircrafts. There are some points, the number of aircraft that X, Y, Z manufactured during 2000 was same as that. There are some conditions we will work upon this. Let's move to the second screen. Now, the best way to present our data, data in DILR is basically whenever we have such sets, we make a matrix. And this is the one of the finest way to produce our like what data? We have four three companies: ABC, and then there is FGH, then there is PQR, and then there is XYZ. So I am writing it this. We are given the information about three types of year: that is 1999, 2000, and 2001. These are the three years we will be talking about throughout the. Right, so I'm writing it in this way. Just to keep our data neat and clean, we will segregate it so that there is no confusion. And after this, I'll read the points and then we will start with the information that is given to us. The first point that is given to us is the number of aircrafts X manufactured during 2000, X manufactured during 2000 is same as the number of aircraft that A manufactured during 2001. X pe is same as A pe. and is to let us assume it to be X, which was more than the number of aircrafts that PQR manufactured during 2001. And this is the value hai, X is greater than this value, right? By the end of 1999, by the end of 1999, ABC and FGH had manufactured three and five aircrafts respectively. So, 3 and 5. 3 and 5 respectively. Here we have a given. Okay, there was also one more point given on the previous field that uh, by 1999 they had 18 and at the end they had 35. So by 1999 they had 18 and by the end they had 35. We don't know the figures about the individual years. In the second point, it is given. Uh, we have written the 3 and 5 and the third point it is given even though PQR did not manufacture any aircraft during 2001. Yani ki PQR 2001 actually zero hi tha. So whatever we wrote there the symbol it is zero actually. Now each of PQR, ABC and FGH, P, AB and Pinisha top 3 tier likhe hua mene, they all had same number of aircrafts by the end of 2001. Okay, same aircraft and this value, this value and this value is same. These the values are same. Aayenge, jo bhi then the number of aircrafts that FGH manufactured during 2001. So FGH ne 2001 made hai, yani ki this value is same as that during 2000. Yani is this value ke same hai, this value are same which was twice the number of aircrafts manufactured by A during in 2001. Yani A in 2001, which was X in double And this is 2X. This is also 2X. This is given to me, right? The number of aircrafts that PQR manufactured during 2000, PQR in 2000, was same as that of XYZ in 2000. Or same as that of XYZ manufacture during 2001. So, any if this is Y, 
is also y yani pqr ke jitne 2000 mein the xyz ke 2001 mein so this is the all in all this is the information given to me now let us see what i can deduce from here i know that these three values are equal jo maine abhi delete kari these three are equal which means if this is 5 plus 4x this in totality will also be 5 plus 4x and this in totality will also be 5 plus 4x i know that the total of these four values at the end is 35 which means this means 5 plus 4x into 3 kyunki ye teen baar add kar rahe hain plus whatever this value is let us say this is z plus z is right now it is nothing but 15 plus 12x plus z is 35 now i know the total is 35 this is a equation in front of me if i substitute x as let's say 2 x ko agar main 2 put karta hu to answer would be 15 plus 24 39 which will be wrong why because the total is 35 which means x cannot exceed 1 x has to be 1 because jaise maine x ki value ko 1 se zyada rakha hai to value 35 se exceed kar gayi hai which means x is 1 since x is 1 which means this value this value and this value is nothing but 5 plus 4x which was 9 9 9 and this value is then 9 into 327 35 minus 27 8. this value is 8 Now since x is one, I will just substitute the result. X is x one. I have two x here, two x here. I have x. So one, two, two and one. You may write the results here, right? So we have the results thing. I just wrote it down. Now these are this is one, this is three, three and one four, and so this should be five. Now, since this is five, these two variables are not known. Let me take it as a and b. Let me take it as a. And b. What is given to us? There are some conditions given to us. Now we have to make some equations and let us see what we can get. If I see this column, column number one. Okay. If I am seeing this column, column number one. I know that all the total is total to this is in. Therefore, a. Plus b is equal to eighteen minus eight ten. That first. If I go through this, a plus y is nine, which is the second equation, and then b plus y is seven, which is the third equation. Now I have three equations, three variables. Okay, let me try and deduce some results and substitute the value. I know that a is plus b is ten. So from here, value of a is ten minus. Value of a is ten minus b. So if I am substituting it into this equation, it becomes ten minus b plus y is equal to nine, or minus b plus y is equal to minus. This equation is b plus y is equal to seven. So if I add them both, two y is equal to six and y comes out to be. Any the value of y is three. So if I am substituting y here. And y here, this is three. This is three. So now this this total is nine. If this is three, this a has to be six. Value of a is six, and the value of b would be the value of b would be right now. इसके बाद अब मेरा क्वेश्चन more or less खत्म हो गया since oh, I, since now I have all the data. So I'm just left with some questions. Let me read them and let me try to answer them. Okay. So, if I see the first, the first question says, how many aircraft PQR had by the end of 2000? PQR ke baad at the end of 2000 kitne the? This was six plus three, that is nine, right? Six plus three. Second question is, how many aircraft ABC made during 2001? ABC during 2001 made only one aircraft. Okay, during which is it? Okay, and last question is aircraft made by ABC. Aircraft made by ABC 
was what percentage more than made by PQR in 1999? ABC ने कितने बनाए थे? तीन बनाए थे. PQR ने कितने बनाए थे? Six बनाए थे. ठीक है? In 1999. अब आपसे पूछे ABC was what percentage more than PQR? So it was not more. Basically it was less. How less? 50% less. So answer for this is minus 50%. So these are the three answers, 9, 1 and minus 50%. And with this, we will conclude our first set. I hope this was a good learning experience for you guys. And if you like, uh, if you like the video, kindly subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos to come. Thank you so much guys. Have a good day.